Welcome to the Statistic NDD YouTube channel. Today we want to see why it is so important to visualize our data, especially but not only in correlation and regression analysis. The dataset I will show you today is by ANSCOM. It was published in 1973. If you haven't seen it before, it's really worth being aware of this data. It's very well crafted, so it's a made-up data set. Um, but it's very good to, to have this in mind. If you have seen it, you might like the way I present my findings. Um, it's the first time in my videos that I created a dashboard. It's a flex dashboard. It was created completely from within R. So only R code, no knowledge of HTML or CSS or JavaScript required to create this dashboard. And you can check out the code to create this dashboard on my GitHub profile and the link you will find in the description. So you see it's quite a simple data set. I included an ID variable which was not present in the original data and then we have just four X variables X1 to X4 and four Y variables Y1 to Y4. So I'd like to think of them as four pairs of X and Y variables and I will refer to them as sets in the following slides. So there are just 11 rows of data and now let's look at some descriptive statistics as you might have learned in statistics create some summary statistics to get an impression of the data. So first looking to the left side, we see the means and the four X variables, um, all of them exactly have a, a mean of nine and the Y variables um, have a mean of 7.5 and you see there are only some minute differences in decimal places, but essentially these summary statistics are the same. How about the standard deviations? Looking to the right side of the slide um, for the four sets, we see the standard deviation of x is always exactly the same, 3.31 and so on. And for y there are again some minute differences in decimal places, but it's 2.03 for all of them. So let's look at some correlation and regression analyses. Um, we'll do it numerically at first, so let's to the, look to the left side. The correlation coefficient between x and y is always the same apart from some minor differences in decimal places, 0.816 and so on. And looking to the right, we have the regression formulas for the four sets. The intercept is always the same except for some small differences in decimal places. And the slope for the x variable is the same as well across the four sets, again, um, apart from some minor differences in decimal places. So now let's visualize the data and see um, if this confirms our numeric summaries that the four um, x, y value pairs are essentially the same. Um, so maybe we look at them one after the other. How about this plot? For the first set, we have the scatter plot of x and y and the regression line. And what do you think of, of this plot? I think it looks okay. We have no clear pattern in the scatter plot. So um, while the points are not exactly on the regression line, the regression line seems a reasonable fit to describe the data. How about the second plot? <coughs> um, here I think we can quickly agree that the regression line is not a good representation of the data. Um, the points follow a clear pattern, but it's not a linear pattern. It's probably a quadratic function here. Okay, so how about the third plot? Um, here there seems to be a linear relationship but there's one outlier and I made this a plotly chart. So it's ggplot and then plotly on top of that. So we get these nice mouse over effects powered by JavaScript. So this doesn't work in Word or, H or, or PowerPoint, but it works in this HTML dashboard. Um, so here we can see the X and Y coordinates on mouse over and it even gives me the ID to show me the row of the original data to um, be able to more quickly identify the outlier. So here, the slope of the regression line um, is clearly influenced by this one outlier and apart from this outlier we would have a different slope. Um, so here we would have to take care of the outlier before we build our model. How about the last plot? Um, what do you think of this one? The slope is only determined by this one point here and apart from that there's essentially no relationship between x and y because for exactly the same x value, we get different y values. So we couldn't even put a regression line here. Um, yeah, so only this one outlier here determines the relationship at all. So to finish up, we can show the four plots in an overview. 
um, again we have these nice mouse over effects by the way um, here if we wanted to see the coordinates more clearly we could even zoom in uh, and then um, redo this so a nice way of presenting this in this dashboard structure I think and hopefully we got the point across that it's really um, key to visualize our data to see if the model that we have in mind makes sense or if we miss anything about the relationship between the variables and also the graphical analysis is a nice way of finding outliers well all the best for your data analyses um, yeah hope to see you next time if you like the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already it really helps all the best goodbye